Well, before there was texting and telephones, people used to communicate by hollering. <laughs> it turned into a competition more than 40 years ago. This is a favorite story around here. Three North Carolinians that have earned a title at one point or another are now heading to the Big Apple to share their talent on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. CBS North Carolina's Lauren Havlin reports on why many are hoping this is an opportunity to save an age-old tradition. And it's a way of life. It's a way of communicating. Robbie Goodman, along with Sheila Fry and Tony Peacock, are known for their hollering. Oh, oh, oh. All three have competed in the hollering competition in Spivey's Corner. It's a contest that's been going on since 1969. I really do it to preserve history because nowadays young people can't even imagine life without phones or television or even electricity. But that history may be in jeopardy. Organizers recently announced the competition has been suspended, but they're keeping the door open to one final event in 2018 to mark the 50th anniversary. That news got the attention of the Late Show host, Stephen Colbert. Just excited and glad that, that someone up there is taking notice. It's a sad day that a, a North Carolina staple is being trampled underfoot. Before leaving RDU for NYC and appearing on national TV, the trio gave me a lesson on home. you got to have a good set of lungs and you have to practice and drink lots of Diet Mountain Dew. No, just <laughs> With that, I decided to give it a try. Woo! Was that pretty good? Absolutely. Well, guys, I might enter when the competition returns for the 50th year. I think I think I may have found my new hidden talent. Sheila, Tony, and Robbie are expected to holler on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert tonight after CBS North Carolina at 11. In Raleigh, Lauren Howland, CBS North Carolina. Look at that from North Carolina to national. That's fabulous. We we'll look forward to seeing that tonight on Stephen Colbert. Well, who will be